Two months ago, I created this account, my Varlamor Locked Hardcore Iron Man. In the last episode, we managed to finally beat the Perilous Moons, and we got rewarded with arguably the best item we could obtain on this account. Boom. No way! The plan for this episode is very ambitious. I want to reach level 99 strength, but also much higher defense, in order to be able to defeat Perilous Moon's bosses more consistently. This video will consist of over 300 hours of in-game playtime, in order to make our Varlamor account as strong as he possibly can be. Let's get into it. One of my first goals is to try and get this all the way up to 90, but we started on a very humble level 82 defense. I am currently... We got all the way from 80 to 83 defense, but also we got ourselves two mystery boxes and a lamp, which is super useful. Obviously, I'm not using Blood Moon Tacits whenever I'm training because I would just be throwing away charges, throwing away money. But let's use this lamp on agility. This will give us a level plus 80. We are now two lamps away from level 10 agility, which is perfect, fully lamped from zero. And now we also got mystery box. This has potential for some very good items for us, for example, Dragon Medhelm, I think. First one gives us Steel Plate Body, which is actually a very good loot for area locked account. Uh, not for us though. The second one is an old boot. That's the only way I can get an old boot. It is completely useless, but I will throw it in the bank. We got a mace, and this time we actually pulled 462 Steel Arrows and some Nature Runes. That's actually very good. So, if you ever wondered how 40 hours of crabs looks like, the inventory looks like this, the stats look like this. We went from, I think, 81 to 86 defense, but also we got this mysterious box that has a heart clue scroll that we cannot complete and we also got two lamps one goes in agility the other goes you guessed it in agility and we are now 10 agility which is actually kind of fascinating 1.225 xp gained strictly through lamping guess what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna click right here on the 4c and we're gonna get one more level before moving on to a new objective but before we continue i would love to tell you more about the sponsor of today's video boot.dev this is honestly one of the coolest sponsors that we've ever had on the channel boot.dev's mission is to simply teach you programming they focus on the back-end development and they use python and go programming languages. But the reason why they're so cool is they pretty much make learning how to code super fun and competitive. As you are learning, you'll be gaining XP, levels, achievements, and you'll also be completing quests. And if you want, you can also fight to be on the global leaderboards. Our friends over at the boot.dev believe that the smartest way to learn how to code is to make sure you're never bored. So because of that, they created this really cool online self-paced platform that basically feels like a captivating RPG game. The platform is the designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and actually shipping projects is basically the only way to really learn. And since they never want you to feel like you're spending money on something that isn't actually helping you, they're also offering you a 30 day no questions asked refund policy, but also a free demo of basically every course and its interactive features. So if you want to learn how to code, maybe challenge yourself a little bit as well, make sure to click the link in the description and use my code MikaRS you're gonna get 25% off your first payment, that can be 25% off your first month or your first year depending on your subscription. Honestly, I'm really excited to learn how to code and hopefully some of you guys join me along the way. Once again, massive thank you to boot.dev for sponsoring the channel and let's continue on with the video. Just a few more hits. And here it is, level 97 strength, only two more levels to go, and approximately 30 hours, if not a little bit more, to get from 97 to 98 strength. There it is, 98 strength on the Varlamor locked account. How about I spend the next 35 hours getting 99 strength, and all you do in return is click the subscribe button. A part of me really wants to allow this account to venture out of Varlamor to obtain a skill cape. If you want to contribute how you feel about me obtaining a skill cape on this account, please do let me know about your feelings in the comments. I will read every single comment on this video and we will decide together if getting a skill cape would be something that this account could get. Now do keep in mind that this 99 easily took over 350 hours to get and skill cape doesn't give us that big of bonus at all. It would simply be a cosmetic or a flex item. All right, now let's uh, spend about 35 hours more and uh, let's get 99 strength.
Light, we also got two lamps. We are using every single possible lamp on agility. Start on level 10. There is 100 XP exactly, and one more lamp should do it. We are now a proud owner of 11 agility. Currently, two lamps away from 12, but we also got this mystery box, which could have a very good item inside, but it has a medium clue scroll that we cannot complete. Ladies, gentlemen, 653 hours in the making. Here it is. Ninety nine strength on the Varlamor locked account. All pretty much done on the crabs and sulfur naguas with the sulfur blades. We were averaging around forty k an hour, I'd say, throughout this entire process, and now we secured ourselves the max hit potential. From here on, in order for this account to really shine, we need to obtain best in slot possible gear that will increase our max hit further. Twenty seven days and five hours. I have stayed logged in on this Varlamor more locked account. Now it is at this point that you may be wondering what is my next goal and honestly I think Hunter is going to be on the menu. Alongside 60 ranged I also want to reach very high Hunter in order to obtain mixed height sets and from there the only possible increase in damage that we can get on this account would be combat bracelet that's gonna be a very lengthy crafting grind as well. I honestly didn't expect this to happen I thought this would actually take me much longer to be honest but but very happy about this four crab spot. I spent a lot of time here. If you're wondering how many crabs I've killed on this account, I have killed exactly 61,690 cent crabs. It has been nearly 29 days of Varlamor locked account and here it is level 90 defense. I do think I should be strong enough right now to defeat Perilous Moons very consistently. So with 80 attack, 99 strength and 90 defense, I will temporarily stop my combat training. Now, this took a a lot of time meaning I also did a ton of random events and look at the amount of lamps we have in order to keep progressing our agility 110 XP there we are one lamp away from a level and we are now a proud owner of 12 agility but we're not gonna be stopping here another lamp for 120 and another lamp for 120 we are now 13 agility and after using the book for 195 XP and another lamp we have just gained three agility levels back to back to back by doing absolutely nothing but training our account for a ridiculous amount of hours. It is now unfortunately my responsibility to once again leave Varlamor, but all I'm asking you is quickly blink, because all we have to do is we have to finish Eagle's Peak. That is going to be an important requirement in order to eventually finish at first light, which pretty much fully unlocks the Hunter Guild for us. It is something we we have to do it is something that's gonna be completed very quickly eagle speak completed a little bit of quest points hunter xp but most importantly ability to use box traps i'm pretty sure we should be good to drop all of that are we able to lay the box trap now we are we're gonna leave it right here let's return to civitas illa fortis and uh, i don't really think i'll need to leave varlamor again anytime soon now let's quickly talk about my next training method it's gonna be pretty interesting we're entering perilous moons but not to kill the bosses but to train hunter it's gonna be slow it's gonna take some time but let's get it done we're now located in the earthbound cavern and if you look at the map there's a couple of hunter spots here i do believe you need level 20 hunter as a requirement in order to participate in this hunting activity but for me that is going to be the only way to train hunter all the way until the point where i reach level 46 but this should be as simple as grabbing the hunting supply crates from well the hunting supply crates running a little bit south because I do believe this spot is a little bit more relaxing setting up the traps and then rustling the bushes as you see there is a little moss lizard that gets trapped that gives me 27 XP and a raw moss lizard. This can stay on the floor and this is going to be my way of training Hunter until 46. Let's get it done. This is surprisingly chill way to train Hunter because you never need to click anything in your inventory. Here's level 30. We got 16 levels left to go. Super chill method. 31, 32 and here's 33. I'll do my best to get all the way to 46 in one sitting. 34. We're now also level 1200 total which is actually quite surprising 
surprising for an account that very rarely leaves Varlabor, let's put it that way. Especially with the agility also getting up there now, the stats are actually starting to look very nice and obviously my combat stats are really good. 10 levels to go and we can now catch Earth Implings. This is one of those things where hunting, the higher we go, the better it gets. Obviously with Varlamor we do have access to Puro Puro, so I do have access to every single drop on the Impling drop table. 37, 38 Hunter. I will in fact split these into two sections, 1700 steel arrows to throw. I really need to do more Naguas in order to bank more arrows, but right now that is not on the menu. We're gonna AFK a bit, maybe get one level. We are now up to 40 Hunter. I managed to AFK all the way to 53 range, but I still need seven levels, which should take a ton of arrows. Okay, I guess uh, maybe we shouldn't do anything dangerous, huh? I see, I see. 41, we got five more levels to go. 42, 43. All right, so I've been catching moss lizards for quite a while. And I think this is a suitable time to explain, in my opinion, the best way to catch these dudes. So first of all, you're just gonna lay traps on all four rocks and then you're gonna click bush, but not only once, you're gonna spam click it. Because this way you're gonna guarantee the fact that every single one of the traps get caught and then you simply go and you replace every single trap and do it all over again. That's it, here's 44 and just two more levels to go. I'm actually getting pretty solid 23k xp an hour which is much more than i thought this place would give to be honest here's 45 just one more level to go there it is nice little i'd say four to five hour session and we are completed with hunter you may be wondering why is that even important i might have just realized i probably went seven levels above what i actually should get i, I did all of this thinking that i could catch jerboas at level 46 hunter uh, it appears i could catch it at 39 already slight miscommunication there but it's okay i mean we got the hunter out of the way i just spent about a day afk got from 90 to 92 defense we're now combat level 111 and when I was looking at the quests I still have to complete in Varlamor there is only one thing missing at first light and this quest has the requirement of 46 hunters. So I think this is where the 46 hunter idea came to my mind. But as you can see, there's also level 27 construction requirement for this quest. I do have a very good ability to train construction in Varlamor. So that should not be a problem whatsoever. But we are now able to trade Imia supplies and get box traps, bird snares, news want, you name it, everything is in here. The few important things are gonna be the teasing stick for later on. And and definitely box traps for obviously the hunting that we want to do and obviously if you want to catch some butterflies a butterfly jar could be obtained as well obviously afk we also got a bunch of lamps we're currently level 14 agility we're gonna change that right here that's 140 agility there and we're gonna use one more and that is 140 agility more we're now level 15 agility all through lamping and we're now two lamps away from 16 agility we're just gonna use this one that we already have one lamp away honestly not too bad at all i'm in the mood to train my hunter a little bit obviously every single level in hunter we get will heal me more when it comes to perilous moons but also once we get to 72 we can start catching sunlight antelope which will have a mixed hide tied into that as well so that's gonna be super helpful for the future ember tailed jerboas this is what we wanted to catch we're gonna be laying our box traps i don't know the best location just yet looks like i'm currently able to place three traps at a time again no idea where a good location would be usually it's right next to like a wall or a plant somewhere where you can kind of do it in circles and looks like these animals basically catch the same way a chinchompa would so it should be a fairly enjoyable experience getting these jerboa tails and i'm getting 137 xp a pop which is honestly pretty surprisingly decent looks like we're averaging about 45k xp per hour here is level 47 hunter we have now caught 109 jerboas here is level 48 hunter 49 we now caught 173 242 Jerboas later and 101k XP. We're now a proud owner of 50 Hunter. Beautiful. Am I now able to place another trap? Let's see. No, I guess I need 60 for four traps. So nothing changes. XP per hour stays the same. 52. 53. We could, in theory, hunt chinchompas now, but let's be honest, we ain't never getting those. Here's a big 54. And our total level right now is 1225, all whilst being on this little island. I think level 55 hunter is going to be a good place for a very first break. It really feels like it's been years since I last had a maze random event. Wait, this has never happened to me before, but I legit got lost in a maze. <laughs> I mean, I went the wrong way. Because usually when you go the wrong way, it tells you, yo, dude, you're 
you're going the wrong way. It is a little bit of a disaster. We're getting a 45% here. Usually you get like 76, 77, sometimes 78. This is gonna be half of the rewards here. But we got feather, death runes, and coal. I, I don't mind the coal out of those. Everything else is kind of useless. Death runes, I guess, are fine as well. We are now officially over one month old on our Varlamor Locked account. 31 days and 7 hours in the making currently. And over the last week, I've just been doing a ton of crabs, a little bit of hunter here and there. But here is a big one. 93 defense, which is, you know, uh, I don't know why it's a big one. It takes me like, I don't know, like 15 hours to get one of these levels. But not only that, not only did we prepare this beautiful defense level, we also got a lamp. And by using it on agility, we also got an agility level. We're now 16 agility, 12, 28 total. And really, I should stop procrastinating my hunter. But uh, I'm just gonna AFK here a bit longer. We're gonna finish 72 hunter at some point. I'm sure we will. So don't worry about it. It is my favorite time of the day. We got a book of knowledge, we got a lamp, let's use both of these on agility, that's 160 XP there. And from the book we should get a little bit more, that's 240 XP there, we are now 17 agility. I have AFK'd a lot in this episode, but now it is time to do more Naguas in order to get more smithing supplies in order to make more arrows. I need to get 60 ranged and that's gonna be quite a grind. And it's been a very long time since we last did Naguas, as you guys know you get very much increased XP per hour, I'm gonna pop it on the screen and we're gonna kinda see what we're looking at right now and the best part about this is the drops from this are absolutely phenomenal oh and the very cool part about this is since we've now obviously completed the quest and gotten the boss kills i can also start collecting the soul for essence which in turn will be free rune crafting xp so i'm pretty excited to see how much xp that will be look at the xp per hour i'm just uh just a little dude in full adamant but just the soul for blades and the amulet of strength is single-handedly carrying the xp per hour big time breaking 100k xp per hour. Those are the type of numbers I never expected to see on a Varlam or Locked account, I'ma be honest. And if you pick a little bit of an interest into the inventory right now, this is why we love Naguas. We got iron ores, coal, silver ore not that great, copper is fine, I mean we can turn this into bronze, turn this into arrow tips. Basically, anything that we can turn into arrow tips right now, that's what we're going for. And to top it all off, we're also getting decent amount of runes, we will need magic levels, we're getting fire runes and nature runes which we can in turn use to cast super heat on our iron ore so very useful there and not only that look at the floor we also get sulfur blades if you guys do not know these are alkable for about 18k but i'm just kind of stacking them in the bank uh, as a collection i don't think i'll ever alk this that's a full trip completed we got blades we got chaos runes couple of death runes but most importantly iron ores coal silver ores oh and i almost forgot let's test this out as well sulfurous essence got 51 of this which is i think about three drops now that the quest is completed i could speak to eight lolly and i'm just gonna attempt to just use this on her and that's 2.5k runecrafting xp we went from 26 to 29 that is very good runecrafting xp for like not touching runecrafting so there's a few things on my mind right now that i could do i could keep doing naguas which would be good i could get my construction to 27 and attempt to complete the hunter guild quest which is also something i really want to do or i could train smithing use all these ores get probably 40 smithing turn that into arrows and get my range up but i don't think i could get range to 60 just yet. So, with all of these options, I do think I wanna get construction to 27. So, let's go ahead and find the best plank spot location here in Varlamor. On the very south beach of Varlamor, we got the colossal worm remains. And in this little area that actually looks kinda cool, we got a plank over here and a plank over here. First time teleporting to the house. The building mode on, I don't even think I need to spend money on another room. And we're just gonna start our way building some chairs. Getting 87 XP drops is honestly not too bad. And here's the first one, level 11, 16 levels to go. Once I use my full inventory, we're gonna teleport back to Civita La Fortis, right on towards the bird, back down to the Sunset Coast, and run east to the Colossal Remains. Let's do this for a little bit of time. I'm not going to be resetting the XP per hour at all. So you see the realistic value that includes with me teleporting, walking, picking up the planks, everything. So no resetting. Here's level 13, 15 construction, up to 20 construction and XP per hour is uh, a bit slower than I anticipated. Let's put it that way. Here's 25. We got two more levels to go. I'm hoping I don't need to do another session of nails. I really don't want to do that. So I'm hoping this would last. 
Here's 26, and I got 49 nails to go. I'm, I'm having a feeling it's not gonna be enough. It's a disaster. We are out of nails. Making all these nails, we're now level 40 smithing. That's kind of cool. And I didn't even realize we're now 1250 total level as well, which is very high. I definitely went a little bit overboard, but there it is. 27 construction. I'm definitely stopping here for... Maybe forever, maybe for a very long time. Let's go ahead and complete the quest now. We'll start this one off by speaking to Guildmaster Apatura. And the whole point of this is eventually I do want this account to also be doing Barlamor exclusive rumors. So doing this quest should allow us to do that in the future. I'm going to be explaining that, how we're going to be blocking specific hunter tasks in probably one of the future episodes when we actually do decide to do rumors. But for now, completing this quest is all we really want to do. If I had a chance to run through this quest, this would have been a four minute quest. It's just go left go right talk to this dude talk to the other dude and there it is we get decent hunter xp 800 construction 500 herblore but most importantly access to master tier rumors we can't do that yet i low key on the down low want to kill some crabs uh, you know this 95 defense is not gonna happen by itself so how about we train a little bit of defense i've just completed a very long training session we're now 94 defense only 80k xp away till 95 but i really felt in the mood to grind some hunter right now for me, it's been a very long time, but for you, it was probably just a few clips. But we're gonna use this slam on agility, even though it's not gonna give us a level. We're also gonna grab our Jerboa tails, so we can kinda keep track of how many we've caught. And we're starting on 55 hunter, let's see what we get up to. Oh yeah, and uh, the obvious goal is 72 hunter, so we can start hunting sunlight antelopes. Here's 56, and as soon as I hit 63 hunter, I could move to sunlight moths by using a plus 2 boosting drink. But I'll see if I'll end up actually doing that. For now, let's get another level. There it is, 95 defense. Just a casual 33 days and 3 hours in the making. It's 58. Here's 59 and I'll do one more level right now because it's uh, it's taking a little bit of time, let's be honest. We are training all this hunter to eventually be able to equip mixed hide. However, a jaguar fur can be obtained from killing a jaguar, which we've already done. And by having 20k, you can speak to Pelham. Now, I don't have 20k. So we're gonna just quickly drink the wizard mind bomb, get magic level, high alk the sulfur blades. We now have 37k and I think I should be able to just talk to him maybe. Can you make some armor for me? Let's figure this out. I would love to have a cape. And there you go, the best in slot possible cape for the account obtained, however, we don't have 60 ranged. Anyways, I'm gonna get 60 hunter and then we're gonna go spam Nagwas in order to, well, get resources to finish the range training. And here it is, a big 60. Super late Nagwa session, first we claim some runecrafting XP, 29 to 30. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this, we all got levels. And secondly, we bank this beautiful amount of runes. Most importantly, iron ore, tin, and coal, and copper. Good morning. Yesterday, I did a trip of Nagwas, ended up making all of the drops into the bars, and I was then turning those bars into some arrows. We went from 40 to 42 smithing, now we got a fletching level, but we also have a lamp in here. We're gonna use that on agility. And all of a sudden, that is 18 agility as well. And I got approximately 2,000 and a bit of arrows to throw away. Definitely not enough for 60 range. 58 range was the goal I was able to reach with the arrows that we had. I now need to do either more Nagwas or just turn more of my bars into arrows. I'm definitely fixated on finishing the 60 range right now. I think that would be a really solid goal to set for myself here. And I'm just gonna use the rest of my money on some feathers because that's something I'm definitely struggling on. But as you can see, the XP per hour is ridiculously low. We're talking 25k an hour. Because obviously all I have is an oak shortbow. I got no range gear, nothing like that. So it's a slow process. Process, but we just need to push to 60 then we can leave it there for a very long time So by simply running west a little bit we come to the fishing shop and I should in theory be able to buy some feathers right here I'm gonna assume I need around 2,000 I don't think I need more than that But I also don't really need money for anything right now. So let's just get ourselves 3,000 to be safe. I'd say there we go. That should be perfect. Let's go back to the city, see if we have any ores left in the bank. I noticed we have a surprising amount of iron ore. The problem with iron ores, however, is they disappear. So I will go ahead and use all of my nature runes and all of my fire runes in order to just superheat these. This way I can't lose them. But once I'm out of nature runes, I will just put those into the furnace normally and just lose half of an inventory. Here's 43 smithing. All right, we got 2,550 iron arrow tips. Let's make all of these into arrows. 
arrows and finally finish our 60 range grind. It's taking way too long. All the arrows are made, 2550. It's time to shoot them away. I'm assuming two to three hours until this is 60. Just one more hit should do it. Or three. There it is, the big 60 range. This skill took me 14 hours from 1 to 60 and that is without accounting in for actually obtaining arrows. We are now in a position where we can finally equip mixed hide which is so so good. However, we can only equip the cape for now. We obviously can't equip everything else simply due to the fact that our hunter is not yet 72. But we're gonna run to the bank right now and we're gonna test out our very first cape upgrade and see how good is it actually. The days of forestry kit are no more. We are now a proud mixed height cape enjoyer. The stats are maybe not too crazy, but look at this. Attack range plus five. We actually have some range bonuses. We get a little bit of defense bonuses, magic, range, stab slash crush, and every little thing matters. But most importantly, look at this. Melee strength hidden away. In these other bonuses, we have a plus one strength bonus. And that's not only for cape, that's also for the boots, also for the legs, also for the body. Once we get that hunter level high enough, this armor is gonna be pretty beneficial for us to use in quite a lot of scenarios. So I guess the goal for the future is very obvious. We're gonna get 72 hunter and we are gonna unlock the full mixed height set. But if you wanna catch that, make sure to subscribe and you can also check boot.dev if you want to support me further. See you soon with another upload.